There was a big break between uh, the first red and red two. And when we all got back together, it was as if we had just been working together a couple days prior. Everybody just came back and got back into character, and we added some more characters. And we have uh, Anthony Hopkins in this film, Byung Hung Lee, Helen Mirren's back, John Malkovich is back, Mary Louise Parker, who I adore. She is just so funny, and we have such a good chemistry. Catherine Zeta Jones, also, as another love interest. Uh, that uh, adds some spice to that romance. Very ambitious films, both films ambitious, this one even more than the first one. Uh, some, some record number of, of actual scenes that are in the film, and, and very little was, was left out of it. I think everything that we shot is, is in the film. She wants to be in the gang, and in the first film, I, I, I spent the whole time just trying to keep her safe and protect her and keep her out of harm's way and keep her out of the whole world of the CIA, and that's really what the premise of this film is, is how she gets to be part of the gang and to, and to use weapons and to, and to do things that are uh, big tasks uh, in the world of the CIA. And, it's all woven together with, with romance and action and comedy and, and a bunch of funny people and a bunch of um, action people and, and great, great actors who just show up and bring um, great, big, funny, laugh out loud scenes to it. Helen Mirren got her wings in the first film when uh, she, she was firing this big, huge automatic weapon. And uh, she's, a, she's a great marksman in the film. And uh, she's back doing that. And does really cool uh, weapons scenes and somehow makes it look really sexy and really it's just fun to watch her stand up and go and just play with guns. John Malkovich is out of his, his mind as this character. Uh, and he gives, he gives me romantic advice all through the film because my character is, just can't figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. Catherine Zeta-Jones plays my uh, romance from, from 15, 20 years ago when we all worked together in the CIA. The Hobers, uh, Eric and John Hober, wrote a great line uh, for her about, uh, a lot of great lines, but a, a great line for her where, where she is referred to as, as uh, Frank Moses' kryptonite, which is fun and funny and kind of uh, explains the whole thing of how she comes in and tries to derail um, mine and Mary Louise's uh, uh, romance. Uh, failed to do our work off camera because we were just watching Tony do the most remarkable things and funny and just right for his character. We really go at it and um, he's a big star, big, big star. Uh, and uh, he, he made a great contribution. He's funny, uh, tough, he's a great fighter, uh, and he's, he's, he's just fun to be around. Everybody just stepped right in and showed up to be exactly what they should be and what they should do. And uh, they even managed to, to get uh, to get Brian Cox back in it for, for a real quick scene, that was nice. Um, and big full days, all, all, all day long, 12 hour days, and, and until we ran out of light, until we ran out of, you know, weather or... or uh, and there's a lot of stuff in this film. That there's, there's multiple stories happening um, all at the same time in this film. And um, it's, just, it's just fun to watch. 
it raises um, everybody's game, you know, to have big movie stars in there. You go, I'm not doing a scene with Anthony Hopkins, and that is just so much fun. And he had a, he just had a, 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 a big ball, big, big fun time, you know, playing that character. Dean is fantastic. Dean is, he had the hardest job to steer this big, massive uh, story and then edit it after it's all done and um, make it all make sense and have it make sense. And uh, great writing. You know, the Hober brothers are just really, really funny guys and uh, came up with more gags for us and more jokes. Uh, and, you know, helped us all the time. Helped us with scenes that, it, that sometimes we had to make a correction or make a cut in, in something, and they would just, you know, Dean would get on the phone with them, and he'd go, well, just say this and this and this and this and this, and it was great.